Um, I'm Robin Andrus. I love that we're going outside the paradigm here of <laughs> introducing ourselves because um, I think that we compartmentalize our lives way too much and as women and we don't acknowledge our backgrounds as, and the other roles that we play in life. And for me, um, everything really came to a crashing change uh, when I became a mother. And I think for a lot of women, this happens and we don't acknowledge it. And I think we need to. And uh, whether women become mothers or not, I think we all have issues in our, our challenges in our life that really make us face who we are and what we're about and, what, and, and make us want to tackle new um, new uh, issues. So for me, that was really becoming a mother. Um, I had uh, my own graphic design business uh, for 12 years before then. I had really big clients. I worked with Sun Microsystems. And once I had kids, everything changed for me. And all of a sudden, I didn't care about moving pixels. And I didn't care that uh, this uh, Pantone 32 should really be Pantone 31. And <laughs> it just didn't me mean anything to me. Um, so I, I kind of lost interest in my business and stopped working because I wanted to be the one to offer childcare to my own children. And I feel really privileged that I was able to do that. A lot of women cannot. Um, so I did that for a while. Um, and then I wanted to go back into my community. I speak uh, Spanish and Mandarin. And I wanted to use my language skills to help um, other families, um, uh, particularly uh, immigrant families. So I got an excellent job working for the San Francisco, San Francisco Unified School District. And I worked with families uh, doing outreach, teaching them uh, what their rights are as uh, parents and integrating uh, them into our school system and giving them a voice in the system. So you might not believe this, but so many parents in our public schools do not know that they have a voice and do not exercise it. So I really fought hard for uh, my parents at all the schools I worked at to know that they had rights, um, to give them a pathway, to, um, to have their voices heard. Um, I also, while I was uh, working, I started uh, my own organization for disadvantaged kids because I wanted to connect them with uh, Im mainly immigrant kids with our democracy because I felt like they need a voice in our democracy and I raised money three years in a row for uh, about 30 kids every year, so about 100 kids to go to Washington, D.C. Um, so that's kind of where I started from and I just um, got my degree in public administration from San Francisco State University. Yay! <laughs> um, it, and that also was a challenge, having two kids and having to put food on the table and then rush off to class and make sure that they were doing everything they were supposed to do. So I really feel like one of the conversations we need to have as women is around childcare. We need to talk about this. We don't bring this up enough. It's always, you know, we, we talk about kind of these higher issues, but childcare is so paramount and it's, and it's necessary for all of us in this room whether you have kids or not, that our children are well taken care of. Um, and uh, during my studies, um, I did a lot of work uh, around uh, my uh, looking at statistics and data um, around corporate social responsibility programs that focus on women globally. So I don't know if you know this, but corporations were actually called upon by the UN to help out with uh, with achieving the UN Millennium Development Goals uh, around empowering women. So those are basically uh, w how many women are in, uh, uh, how, how many women are, are in government, how many women are in educate, how many women are being educated at higher levels, and how many women are employed. Um, so I looked at corporate uh, social responsibility programs. I have to report that there's some really great actors there's also some really uh, other actors that could do a lot better, but I think the, uh, what I learned was that there is an amazing synergy that can take place between NGOs and corporations, that we can um, achieve goals together and we can support each other. And um, we'll talk about that more within our dialogue, but I just wanted to um, kind of let you know like what my background was, so I'll pass it on.
Marie Chantalia Lewis. Thank you.